Alright guys, I wanna, first before I get started, I want to congratulate the winner one more time for the giveaway. And uh, don't worry guys, there will be plenty more giveaways. Okay, I get PMs all the time about holsters and you know what's a good holster and belts and this and that. Well, since I've been carrying a lot lately, uh, I've always carried a, carried a gun. But now that I you know, lost some weight, I carry every day now. Because a lot of the problem is when you're heavy, it's really hard to carry a gun. Some guys can get used to it. Some guys could never get used to it. I'm one of those guys that was really heavy. I was 240 pounds. And it was really hard for me to carry a gun. I had to carry a real tiny gun to be comfortable. And we used to make, you know, I used to make jokes all the time. I said, if I keep gaining weight, I'm going to end up carrying a gun this big. But, um, seriously, though, uh, as I've been carrying, um, I use different belts for different situations. Different kinds of guns with different weights um, demand more support than others. Okay? So I'm just going to give you... A uh, quick rundown of what I experienced and what's more comfortable for me. Comfort's the whole thing. If you're not comfortable, uh, you're not going to carry a belt. You're not going to carry a gun if you're not comfortable. But you're going to think about how uncomfortable it is before you put it on. You're going to be like, oh, I ain't carrying that friggin' thing, man. It's just, I don't know, it pulls my pants down all day. And sometimes because it's not necessarily because the gun's heavy, it's because you have the wrong setup for that gun. So here's, here's, um, my version of uh, what you can do to help you uh, be more comfortable and to help you uh, if you have the right to carry in your state you should carry every day so I got a little thin you know to me this is little compared to my other guns got a little gun like this and then you got the next step up will be a Glock 27 uh, it's really not much bigger but it's very chunky it's still a chunky gun it's not real easy to carry a 27, but you can carry that pretty damn comfortably. Then you got guns like this, like a 1911, which it's heavy, but what's good about the 1911, it's very, very slim. So a slim gun is, uh, it could be very easy to carry with the right setup. And then you got this big behemoth here, this big hungry man, Sig Sauer P226. Uh, like I said, with the right, with the right setup, uh, this could be a comfortable carrying gun. So, we're just going to go through a few things. Let me take my ring off because I keep scratching my guns. The wife don't believe me. She thinks I don't want to wear my riding ring. That's not the case. I keep telling her I'm not going to handle a $2,500 gun with the friggin' ring on my hand because I keep scratching it. Especially this gun too. So, I got all kinds of holsters here. I got three, type, three types of belts. Um, this belt was sent to me by somebody, and I do use it often. Uh, you got to remember, it's a light belt. It's very light. It's real soft. So there's not a lot of support. Um, it's, a, it's a tactical belt. Uh, it's, the one thing good about it is it doesn't have holes, so you can put it to the exact tension around your waist for your body type. That's one good thing about it. But for carrying a real heavy gun, for me, this don't work. This is great when I'm carrying my LC9. If I carry the LC9, this belt handles it pretty damn good um, with this type of holster here. It's a soft holster, but it's, it's firm and it's very, very sturdy. See, the whole thing with holsters is, here's the problem with most holsters, is sloppiness and movement. That's the problem. The more your gun moves around, the more Whatever secure in your gun, the more that the more flimsy that is, the more uncomfortable it's going to be for you to wear and carry a gun. Everything needs to be very, very secure. The belt, the holster, the clip on the holster, everything. When everything's secure, you you're going to come you're going to carry comfortable, no matter how big the gun is, no matter how big the gun is. Trust me on this one. I was thinking about getting into making holsters. Not, not like leather holsters, like maybe Kydex holsters. Because when I look at them, I see what's wrong. Like the, there's little things that I'd like to fix. I'm like, I should try to make them because I'm pretty mechanical. I think I can make them right. I don't know. Maybe I can't. But when I look at a Kydex holster, no matter who makes it, every time they make the belt loops, not, not this way I'm talking, how far away the belt loop is from the holster this way. 
They always leave too much room this way. They need to narrow that up a little. And as far as this way goes, uh, you can. it's just pretty much a length they use, standard length they use. But I think there's too much room this way, which allows this. So, I don't know, I was thinking about making Kydex holsters and making my own design, but I don't know, it's, I say that, but I'm never doing it. It's just like saying I'm gonna, pay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop using my credit card, I'm, I'm gonna pay it off. Yeah, right, that'll happen, that'll happen. All right, so this is a good holster. Why is this a good holster? It's a good holster because it's tough, it's, it's, it's nice and firm, it's not squishy, squashy, right? And it has a clip on it, and the clip is solid. It doesn't move side to side. You can't cock it. You can't move it up and down. That is great. So now when this gun is in this holster, which fits very nicely, it's nice and solid. At the same time, it can be drawn from it very simple because inside here it's a nice soft, softer felt material, which allows you to, uh, it doesn't hold on to the gun at all. This is a great holster. It's made by this company. I'm not, I can't pronounce it. But if you want a soft holster and you want a good one, this is the one you want to get. This, this is phenomenal. This holster is awesome. Okay? This one here. Okay? Uh, it's, it's, it's very solid. So when I carry my pistol, this kind of pistol with this holster, I can use a soft light belt because it's, I got a good holster. I don't, plus it's a little gun. I don't need a big strong belt. But you know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just mixed. I'm just going to go back with holsters and belts with different guns, uh, which ones work the best. Okay. So Ruger LC9 type of gun. It's not exactly a pocket gun or a mouse gun, depending on how big you are, uh, but it's a pretty small gun. Very, very compact and thin. That's the holster I would go with. Um, <clears throat> now, when you want to get to a bigger, chunkier gun, like say this Glock 27. This is loaded, so I'm going to clear this one. This is my pretty much my every, my everyday carry. Okay, triggers pull. Now the Glock is safe. Triggers in the rear. I can reinsert the mag, and everyone can shut the frig up. To safety guys out there. Um, okay, this is a, a Glock 27. It's a Gen 3. It's my favorite generation. Uh, the only thing I did to it was replace these takedown tabs, and it's been running great. And when I when I carry this gun. I probably, I mean, I could wear this belt, this nice light belt, it's nice and comfortable, but it, it kind of, it doesn't support it well. It doesn't support the gun well. The gun, to me, for me, is too heavy and too bulky for this light, light belt. So what I'll do is I'll go to the next stage, go to a belt that's not super heavy duty, but just a little bit thicker, has a little bit more support because it's stiff, it's leather, and if you go to these kind of belts, get the ones with a lot of holes in them. You ever notice sometimes oh, this hole's too tight, that hole's too loose, and you're getting a pair of pliers making a new hole? Well, if you get these type of belts, and these are cheap, they're at Walmart. Uh, they have a hole, every half inch is a hole. So chances are you're gonna get the, you're gonna get the right hole for your waist size. And this belt works perfect uh, for the Glock because it gives it the support it needs. So when I carry my Glock 27, I use a belt about you know, this class of uh, support, this this quality. It's a cheap belt, man. It's like a $12 belt. Uh, it'll, it'll probably last maybe a year and it falls apart, you know, but that's what I use. It works really good. And when I'm carrying the Glock, there's different kinds of holsters I can use. When I use this belt, I can use any kind of holster because this belt supports the Glock well. Uh, I will, I'm a very big fan of Don Hume. Same reason, small gun, small holster, Strong clip, firm clip, clip don't move up and down, doesn't move side to side, not even a smidgen. That's what you want. And you know, you get a small gun and then you get a big holster, you're defeating the purpose of having a small gun. You don't want to feel like you're wearing a big hip pad, you know what I mean? You want everything to be small, that's why you bought the small gun, okay? So when I, when I carry my Glock, the Don Hume is a fantastic option, it fits great. It's small, keeps it nice and small, and I use this class of belt with this kind of belt here. Okay? So it's like a medium grade belt. You have light, medium, and heavy, right? So figure a medium, a medium grade belt, you know, as far as heaviness goes. Leather. 
will definitely handle the Glock 27 and probably will handle a Glock 23. Glock 23 is just a little bit bigger than the 27 and uh, I would also use this belt for the 23. Same thing, Don Hume holster or uh, I haven't pulled this out in a while. These are awesome, these holsters. Some guys like them, some guys hate them. These are from DeSantis. It's called the Scorpion. It's very, very um, kind of big for a Glock 27, but uh, for a Glock 23 or a Glock 17, you want to start you know, carrying bigger guns or a Glock 19. This is fantastic, but you know it'll work good with a Glock 27 too, but I probably won't use it. Probably more for the Glock 23. But what's great about it is it's it locks in very nice. Um, I hate my dog. I'm gonna go out there and beat her ass. Okay. Uh, what's great about it? It's very solid. The clips are very solid. No movement. Nice solid system with a good belt. This thing's gonna carry awesome. So this is another good option. Is the DeSantis Scorpion. Now I don't even know if they make these anymore. I haven't seen them in a while. But when I used to go to Target Master and buy five guns a year off them and give them all my business, when I used to do that, they always sold these and I always bought one. Anytime I bought a gun, I automatically bought the DeSantis Scorpion. This is in the waistband. It goes in the waistband and your belt goes through these clips. Now remember I said the problem with these Tidex holsters is I think they make the, the, the clips too wide. Look at, look at all that space. Really? How thick your belt's not even half the thick, thick, not half the thickness of that. That that should be turning about right here and coming right down the middle. It should be half that. Now if they made that half that, this would be even more secure. Or better yet, how about clips instead of this big loop? Steel clips, like the crossbreed. And this would be awesome, right? But this is a good option. Uh, the DeSantis holsters are awesome, even though they got the big. The oversized belt loops, they still stay pretty damn good, and they're very comfortable, I think. Some, some people don't like them. I like them. So that, that's a good option for Glocks, is a holster like this, or a Don Hume. I mean, I have a gazillion holsters. I just took the ones off the top of my head that I've been using lately. I use another one that Andy Rebelcraft uh, made for me, too. That thing works great, too. And there goes the phone. Hold on. Sorry about that. Okay, uh, where was I? This is where I suck. I forget where I was. What was I talking about? Well, I was talking about these uh, DeSantis uh, Scorpions. are nice holsters. Uh, they're light. They're kind of big, but they're light. Uh, another good holster. Oh, well, let's get to the bigger guns now. We already covered the, the little gun, the Glock. Okay, now say we're going to go, you're going to go with a heavy gun, like a 1911. This is my Ed Brown. Everyone loves to look at it and likes to see me do that. I like to see me do that too. This thing is so beautiful. Uh, I don't. I really don't carry this. I am going to carry it. I mean, what good is it? You know what I mean? If if you don't use it, you know I don't care how much a gun costs. But when I do carry this, if I do carry this, I'm going to show you what I use. Uh, if I use it inside the waistband holster. For the Ed Brown, for a heavy gun like that, why is it not out here? I want to thank Matt from Rise Arms. He sent this to me. Let me go in here. I think it's here. It is. This is why I will use the Crossbreed. Crossbreed's a very good holster system. It's got a fantastic reputation. Everyone loves it. This is a Crossbreed. Now it is a big holster, but it's very light. It's thin. It's leather. And if I'm carrying in the waistband with a heavy ass gun like a 1911. I will use the crossbreed and use this, and which works very, very good, and it's it's very secure because it has these very strong clips, and the whole nine yards. Okay, and also uh, extreme uh, concealment uh, has a similar holster to the crossbreed also, and it does good with the 1911s. But this crossbreed is really nice, and uh, this is what I would use. For this type of gun with with minimum belt at this caliber here for strength now if I'm going to go real heavy like that it might even require this beautiful belt 
So you're looking at, well, this was sent to me, so I don't know how much that was. This belt's a $12 belt. Now we're going up to an $80 belt. Now this belt is solid leather. See how thick it is? This guy makes them by hand, and there's no buckle on them. It's a super heavy duty. It's a real true holster belt, okay? And this kind of belt is what you want to use if you're carrying a heck, big heavy 1911. It, I tried it with this holster that Andy from Revelcraft made me. Damn. Look how beautiful. He made this custom for me for my 1911 and uh, for my Ed Brown. And when I use this holster, when I carry outside the waistband, and with the Ed Brown, with this belt, I'm not even kidding you, it's like nothing. It's like nothing. There, there's no discomfort at all because I have the right system for the right for the right gun and the and the I can't say that and the right weight. Heavy gun, certain system for a heavy gun. If you don't care that gun that the that a heavy gun will pull your pants down and that don't bother you and you can walk around like that, then uh, this video is a waste of time. But if you're a real fussy ass like me, everything has to be like just right, you'll like this video. So, you got a heavy ass 1911, you need a really good holster with a really good belt. Same goes for this. If you have a big hungry man like this big six sour, this is loaded. This is a SIG, uh, 357 SIG. Awesome, 357 SIG round. A lot of velocity there. Shoots like a... <laughs> accurate as balls, that's all I gotta tell you. Okay, you, shoot, you, you wanna carry something really big like this, same thing, nice heavy, heavy belt. If I use this belt with the SIG, it would be pulling my pants down and everything because there's no support it's not stiff enough it's not stiff enough to hold this big gun up but it'll work I could use it but it'll be horribly uncomfortable this is strong enough to hold this gun up okay this will work so I can use this beautiful SIG with a SIG Sour holster right here I got this was also sent to me by somebody it's a really high quality outside the waistband holster and if I use this system with this super heavy belt, super heavy gun, it's common sense. Heavy, tough, tough supports the heavy, right? It's like Mr. 45 Bullets jog strap, right? Uh, that would have to be like triple tweed stitched, you know what I'm saying? And uh, beautiful holster. Who makes this? I know it's good stuff. A less. So am I saying that right? I know it's a really, really good holster. And that's what I would need if I would carry this big bad boy. Or another great option with Sig Sauer is a shoulder holster for a big gun like this. Same on a 1911. 1911, shoulder unit, shoulder holster. Or a shoulder holster is great for anything. You know, they're, they're very, very comfortable. Um, I don't know. I like carrying around my waist. You know, when I was a lot fatter, I would use a shoulder holster a lot because I couldn't stand carrying a gun, but I wanted to have a gun on me. But now that I'm more, a little thinner, it's more comfortable carrying on my waist. I'm probably, I won't use a shoulder holster. But something like this, you know, you get the big gun like this or a Desert Eagle or something, shoulder holster is the way to go. I don't want to get too technical and get, get and start this to start to get boring, but I just wanted to show you the different holster types that I have. Here's another holster. Sometimes I'll walk around the house with an outside the waistband holster on just to have all me in the house because times are crazy right now and this neighborhood's a little edgy, man. This is a Fabus holster. This is a great holster. This is a paddle holster. A dude sent this to me when I first started my channel. Very first, you know, this thing is like when I first started before the Armory channel. It was called PJC something. And uh, this dude sent me this and I still have it. I mean, he's a memory. He's from California. And this will go, uh, well it says Glock 36, but not really, Glock 23. So that means Glock 27 should fit in there, and it does. Perfect. And <clears throat> I was talking to Mr. 45 Bullet, he loves Faba holsters. And the thing people say about Faba holsters, it's hard to get the gun out of the, out of the holster. 
because it locks too hard. That's not true. You have to learn how to pull the gun out. When you have a Favis holster like this, it's like, like a quick jerk, and it comes right out. If you pull slow, it's hard to get it out. So you just got to know, know your equipment, that's all. Fabus holsters are awesome. And that's it. That's all, that's all I can tell you. Just remember this. The whole reason of this video is uh, pick the right belt out for the right holster. It's stupid to, to wear an overkill belt with this little gun. You don't need it. Light belt, little gun, medium grade belt, kind of a heavy gun, heavy belt, heavy gun. That's pretty much it. And before I go, I want to thank Johnniac one more time for this outside the waistband drawing holster. Dude, I wear this around the house too. I carry my Colt 1911 in here. Just when I'm cooking and, uh, you know, doing laundry or whatever, it's just always on my side. And I use uh, this holster. And it holds a 1911 Commander. So, yeah, brown will fit in there perfect too. And that's it, guys. That's pretty much it. Hope this helped you, especially if you're a newbie and you don't know what to do or what kind of holster to get or what belt to get, this should cover everything. That's the best I can tell you how to do it. Alright guys, I'll see you soon.